In this video, I will discuss about the differences and the similarities between Terraform and Kubeform module YML configurations. This is the Terraform configurations of using a module which source is in local directory slash TMP folder. So in this Terraform module configurations, we can see there is the, in the first block, it is Terraform block, which uh, for AWS, which sources HashiCorp AWS. We need to provide it for the as a required providers. And then the second block is provider block, which is the specific provider for, in this case, it is AWS. And we can see the necessary configurations uh, for, for that AWS provider is given. Here it is access key, region, and secret key. And in the third block, we can see it is a module block. This is the basically our main block for using a module, which basically a Terraform module. Uh, this is our module name. And then in the module uh, block, we have given three uh, fields, which is the bucket, that is the bucket name and force destroy field, which value is false and source. Source is basically referencing the Terraform module. Uh, here in this case, it is referencing from a local directory and the bucket and force destroy are the input variables that that specific module uh, allows us to provide. So here in this case, we are giving two input variables. One is bucket and another one is force destroy. So let's see the exact configurations uh, for a Qform module to use the exact same thing in Qform. So this is the Qform configurations in the right side, you can see uh, for Qform module. So here you can see it is a uh, YML, uh, like it's a standard YML configurations. And the, the name of this is AWS S3 module sample, which is basically exactly the same as the module name that we have given in this Terraform configuration. And also under the spec.resource.input, we need to provide all the input variables that we are, uh, that we are allowed to provide in that specific Terraform module. So here in this case, we also provide the same thing as this Terraform configuration, that is the bucket and force destroy. You can see in the under the spec.resource.input, the bucket name and also the force destroy is provided as it is YML. That's why the fields are camel case, not like the Terraform as which is snack case. So here we can see also two other uh, fields under the spec that is module def and provider ref. Module def is basically the module definitions which is created by Qform CLI for uh, which basically referred the Terraform module, which basically takes and uh, which uh, generates from the Terraform module uh, configurations where it is stored. It can be from Terraform registry or from any Git repositories. So we will see in our next video how to generate module definitions. And in this video, we will see how looks like a module definition uh, in a bit. So provider ref is basically the provider ref that this block means, this block. So the all the credentials we need, we are providing in a Kubernetes secret named AWS credentials. So this is the AWS credentials Kubernetes secret in the under the string data field, we give in the provider uh, field, we have to give the exact same configurations that is needed in Terraform configurations, which is basically the access key region and secret key. You can see it is exact configurations, which is basically a JSON format in JSON format. So this is the, like the exact configurations of Qform module to use the exact same thing, which is a Terraform module configurations. Now let's see how Qform, uh, what Qform module definition looks like. We, uh, I want to mention this Qform module definition is basically generated by Qform CLI. So you can see, uh, we support, uh, Qform supports both public and private Git repositories. So we can generate Qform module definitions for both public and private repositories where your Terraform module is stored or your Terraform module definitions is stored. So this is for the left side. This is for the public um, uh, Git repositories. We can see uh, the name of this is module dev public. It's uh, provided by us. And there is a couple of fields under the spec that is module ref, provider, and schema. Module ref is basically 
uh, is basically referencing, it will store a couple of values for public repositories. It will store uh, reference of that uh, GitHub or any other like Bitbucket or GitLab that basically a Git repositories where the Terraform module configuration is stored. So under the spec.modulref.git.ref, it will be stored. And in the provider field under the spec.provider, the name of the provider and the source, which we have given in the Terraform uh, pro required provider blocks. And in the spec.schema, it basically, the schema of that, the, the exact configurations of all the input variables and also the output variables that is defined in the Terraform a AWS S3 bucket for in this case or any other Terraform uh, module. So it is basically for like giving the validation for the validation purpose in Qform module custom objects. When we will create it, we will see it for validating the configurations given that Qform module custom objects is this schema is generated. So this is for public uh, Git repositories. Let's see for uh, private Git repositories. It is exactly same as the public, just only uh, one field is different here under the spec.modulref.git. We have also another field that is called cred, which basically uh, refer uh, a local Kubernetes secret and also the namespace of that secret, which basically stores that secret the secret is generated by QFORM CLI as well as during the generation of QFORM module definition. So in that case, if you use private repository, then you have to provide your Git personal access token in the Q, uh, QFORM CLI to generate during the generation of QFORM module definition. So uh, yeah, the QFORM CLI will store that personal access token in a Git repository, uh, in a Kubernetes secret, and then refer that Kubernetes secret inside this uh, Git dot create uh, uh, fields. So this is all about the Terraform and QFORM module YML configuration. And also we have seen how QFORM module definition looks like, which we generate from QFORM CLI. In our next video, we will see how to generate this QFORM module definitions by QFORM CLI in details. Thank you.